Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the veil of our physical world? What battles are fought in the spiritual realm that we cannot see? Today, we're delving into a captivating concept from the book of Ephesians in the New Testament, principalities and powers. In the sixth chapter, 12th verse of Ephesians, we find a profound statement. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This verse reveals the unseen spiritual warfare that is constantly taking place around us. So what exactly are these principalities and powers? In the original Greek text of the New Testament, the word translated as principalities is archai, which means rulers or authorities. It's used to denote beings who hold a high rank in the spiritual realm. The term powers, on the other hand, is translated from the Greek word exousiai, indicating those who wield authority. In essence, principalities and powers represent the unseen spiritual forces at work in the world, forces that are beyond our physical perception. They are part of the spiritual hierarchy of darkness that seeks to oppose the plans and purposes of God. But fear not, this verse in Ephesians is not meant to scare us, but rather to open our eyes to the reality of the spiritual realm and to prepare us for the battles we face. It reminds us that our struggles are not merely physical or worldly, but spiritual. It's important to note that while these principalities and powers may seem formidable, they are not beyond God's control. God, in His infinite power, has authority over all things, both seen and unseen. As followers of Christ, we are encouraged to put on the full armor of God to stand firm against these spiritual forces. To summarize, principalities and powers represent the spiritual forces at work in the world, operating beyond our physical perception. They are part of a spiritual hierarchy that opposes God's plans, but they are not beyond God's control. As believers, we are encouraged to put on the full armor of God and stand firm in our faith, relying on His strength to overcome these spiritual challenges. Spiritual warfare may seem daunting, but with understanding and the right spiritual tools, it becomes a battle we are equipped to face. So keep your faith strong, arm yourself with God's Word, and remember that the victory is already won. If you found this discussion enlightening and wish to delve deeper into topics of spiritual warfare and Christian theology, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to this channel for more insightful discussions. Remember, the unseen is not to be feared but understood. Thanks for watching, and may your journey through the spiritual realm be guided by wisdom and faith.